Thanks. All right. Uh, yeah, you can ask me questions. I can show someone your choice or different things or. Um, say, I guess probably they start the Arturians. They seem to come come to me occasionally. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And you can always change it to somebody else if it comes to mind. So, All right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Musix. Greetings, we are the Arcturians. Blessings, greetings to you. Yes, how can we help you? Greetings. Um, I get visited occasionally by by you guys and seem to um help my energetic body. And um, you gave me some messages in the past and definitely correct about certain things about my energy starting to rise again after flatlining for about a year. Mm -hmm. And um, just wondering um. I guess what's in store next for me and and how can I be a service to humanity? Uh, for your direction, it's up to you what you want to develop. As for connecting with us, like a form of channeling, whatever you choose, uh, and just just allow it to flow through, you know, our connection with you. If you wish to go in that direction, just to let it. And more messages will come through. It basically also has to do with your health, uh, your energy health, you could say, as you were saying, basically, so you can have a more easier experience here to a certain level, release some of the heaviness that you've been going through in the past. So uh, we did help you incarnate here on this planet. You did have some difficulties coming into the world. <laughs> yeah, I did. So we made it, you know, you wanted to come here so well there's different reasons but uh yeah we're here to make it a little bit easier as best as our, our capabilities are so so but basically the future is what you want to where do you want to go with it <laughs> okay what do you want to develop that we can assist you with that awesome so. um I've been brought up to one of their their healing ships for uh, what is uh where is that what is where is that located? Well, it's Arcturus. You're brought to Arcturus itself. Okay. For that. That way, it's protected. We don't have to, you know, too close to Earth can cause some difficulties there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they usually they usually bring me there from my body up up there. So yes. It's, yeah. Yes. Um. Also, yeah, I think I think that's about it for them. That's good. Yeah, we connect you to your higher self. We're basically helping you link with your higher self because sometimes you get disconnected from it. Yeah, yes. I do. Yeah, that does happen. I usually drop in frequency sometimes. Yeah. So like, like a week or two, and then it comes back and reestablishes. Yeah, sometimes you have some grays that, I mean, even you have positive grays that do try to help you actually. But sometimes you th might think they're shadow beings and you're not sure if you can trust them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've hijacked my mind before yeah. when I was going in yeah. like, deep in my consciousness and stuff. Well, they did it because they felt like they could do it. I mean, they saw the opportunity and just went for it. Not that yeah. it was the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. So. Yeah. So they're very similar to people that play video games, I could say. <laughs> That's what it felt like, honestly. I felt like they were steering like my spaceship into like yep. like Antarctica or something. It was it was insane. Yep. Uh yes, they well you took they've taken you on their ships. I think you remember some of that, or it's not always a pleasant experience. Why well, they would inject me with like serums and I would go like yeah. talk mode and stuff, and yeah, and I would try to escape and then I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to they're trying not to scare you, but it is kind of spooky on their ship sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. I, I like bust through some corridors and wreck some damage on their ships. <laughs> they yeah. didn't seem like they were too pleased. No. Yeah. No, so who brought this wild animal here? <laughs> 
They just they do lack common sense. That's one thing about them. Yeah. At least the human common sense. <laughs> so uh, is there someone else we can connect with or what um ISIS, actually. Yes, of course. She does it to me a lot. She's always giving me like tantric energy exchanges. Yes. Yes, we can bring her through. All right. Let's think so. Let's think so. Greetings to you. This is Isis. Blessings. Blessings. Yes, yeah, send you energies. Yes, it's for your DNA to heal. Uh, as you're coming into the earth, this is your uh, connection with the earth, actually. And even now, even every day since then, actually. She probably some idea, you have some idea of that. Yeah, she, she's very... I love, I love it when she comes. She just, it's funny because sometimes when she connects like i'll be at work and stuff and like calm down like i gotta i gotta focus on this task here and she just laughs and she thinks it's funny and cute and it's yeah. great yeah was, yeah just glad to see you you can say yeah oh yeah she's always so happy if sometimes it feels like we've had intimate encounters through like my yes. my um incarnations here and yes she's helped activate my merkaba a few times when i was feeling lonely and no, yeah. we'll yeah. help you be more human. Uh, one of the reasons, yeah, difficult, yeah, because you've had uh, Zeta incarnations in your past, and that uh, your DNA, your soul DNA, your soul has had difficult connecting with your human body, almost rejecting it. You can say, yeah, it's almost like not this again. <laughs> yeah, I feel <laughs> so, that. It's like what are you trying to bring me into? <laughs> I think was she the one that showed me where I was housed before I came out of. Yes. The pit yeah i thought that was her because mm -hmm. we went into a pyramid it was like a sandstorm she like led me into like like the pyramid that i was like housed in and yeah, exactly. I, didn't, I didn't know if it was her or not but it definitely felt like it yeah she's, she's always been guiding me out for my my whole life yeah so it was a safe place that's why and you, you knew where you were at least on a on an energy level you knew where you were even mm -hmm. if you weren't completely sure what was going on yeah, I felt like I could trust what she was showing. She had like a scarf on and everything. And it's just like, I'm like, okay, I'm going in. Well, because you're in two places at once. You're there in the pyramid, but also in your body. Yeah. So that was very Yeah, cool. someone told me that I have the ability to be in two places at once all the time. Yes. And I thought well, that was pretty interesting. And it, it does seem to happen a lot. Well, you can also be in three places. Yeah, you have ability to teleport yourself, you can say, at least the astral version of yourself. Mm -hmm. You can also go into the future if you wanted to. <laughs> Sometimes you do, it seems. Yeah. At least a glimpse of it. All right. And um, what's my connection with Osiris? Uh, brother connection. Brother connection. Okay. Uh, I mean, two of you don't always get along with each other, uh, but to do work well together, though. Okay. Like you find his flaws. Like if he's working on a project, you find what he's missing. He doesn't like that usually. <laughs> <laughs> but you work well together. Well, I get you can say, uh, yeah, Cyrus can be a little headstrong. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> But there's many incarnations. You have many incarnations in Sirius, where he's been like a brother, even a father figure to you, a mentor, but you've also been a mentor to him. So they've been mentoring each other. Is he incarnated with me in my in my family now or? Uh fractals of himself. Fractals of himself. Okay. Very small. I mean, he is with you currently. As you probably can feel that. Yeah, it was like when I when ISIS was activating my Merkaba, I felt I felt him go go into my body and yes. all a holographic version of him like in me and stuff. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, Cyrus is very connected to the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. So that's another um, that the Sphinx ever comes to mind. That's his energy. It's at least that's the way he some of the imagery that he uses when he when he appears. But yeah, okay. it worked with a lot of your DNA, as you were saying. Basically. Yeah, that's that's what it felt like. It felt like a lot of DNA working, activating the um, 
Straight well, up. well, yeah, yes, yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so get knowledge from your astral, from your akashic, from what you're here to do here, from mm -hmm. your mission, basically. Because it yeah. was it was blocked for a while. Yes. Mind. Yeah, like your teenage years, you couldn't access it, and some of that was for your protection. <laughs> so. So, but when the when you were at a better state then it can be opened up mm -hmm. so. that makes sense all right um i guess we can move on to a different person or is that all right with you uh yes yeah, so we'd like to speak to you uh i'd like to speak to um what else um, Odin. Uh, yes, we can bring in them. Okay. Yes, blessings. Brings to you. This is Odin. Hi, Odin. Blessings. My blessings. Um, I had a particular experience with um Asgard. I I like warped into the, the rainbow bridge which connected to Asgard, and I saw that it was broken. And I was watching a music video by Heilong, which is a bunch of runes and stuff. And when I went in the wormhole, I like recalibrated the rainbow bridge what was the meaning of all that well it's uh you can say from a an attack that's usually the attack that's where many beings attack to disrupt uh asgard's energy so you can say you reformat it so it doesn't get destroyed again <laughs> yeah that's to make it, it stronger yeah it felt like it was destroyed and i was kind of rebuilding it to them yeah. um, Right. it's an it's an easy target well you say no one really have right the right energy to protect it okay or the right knowledge how to do so so yeah you're called upon you weren't sure if you can do it or not uh so you're called upon many times to help assist with that okay so, yeah so that was a pretty big achievement for you yeah <laughs> and um when i was in the I went to the psych ward and I felt like his energies went on to me and I started yelling at all the doctors and I felt like I was on the throne with him and I yelled yes. at him, I'm not your God, I'm not your God. And they all went crazy and they yeah. started. But no, like no, I, felt, did, yes. I, I felt, I felt his staff, I felt the staff and like his power mm -hmm. and his energy. And I just like, kind of yeah. just like threw it at them. Yeah. And was that, was that Odin's that, that was yes. Odin's? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're basically channeling Odin. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, you were Odin. That was very strange for us. That was the doctors over there. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of darkness in there, so I was like trying to clean it out. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't like that. <laughs> uh, well, there is a lot of Archon programming, as you can, I can, you can see. Yeah, I was breaking that up. I opened up some portals. It was like a rush of like wind that's like blew past me. And like, I was just like, whoa. You can almost say it's one of the reasons why you went there. Yeah, I think it was one of the missions that I. That I, I yeah, it wasn't a mission that you're looking forward to. <laughs> no, I hated every moment of it. And no. Because my Kundalini was like surging all over the place. And yeah. it, was, it was just like, oh. Well, part of you, I mean, I see you turning like to a dragon while you're there. Yes, I am. I'm a different direction. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely a celestial dragon. I've I've actually seen I went uh women connected with me and she helped connect me to I'm a red dragon. Mm -hmm. So very aggressive and and yeah. But I'm pretty benevolent. Yes. You know, I'm I'm a I'm more of a defensive dragon. I try to just Hold, hold the barriers and stuff like that so well one of the reasons you went there yeah it's for those that were going to be in that that ward in the future it'd be less negativity okay so you can say you're still you have your energy still there it, it's as powerful as you can keep it mm -hmm. it's, it's that timeline's over with them 
Yeah. Read a good thing too. Well, you say you didn't like what was happening there. <laughs> no, I not not at all. I was actually doing healings on people and, yeah. and correcting their brains and stuff. And it was yeah, you, you were connected to like a Yeshua side of yourself, you could say. Yeah. Jesus. And like the uh the archons were all in there and I was I was yelling at them yeah. and all the doctors thought I was like going crazy and no, no not to steal people's energies and I <laughs> Yeah, wild. Yes. Well, I'm glad yeah. Odin was with me. Yeah, he, he definitely feels close to me. Yeah, I've been down a lot of them lately. Yes, but Odin I'm, energy is very well. You have an Odin and other incarnations too. Mm -hmm. That's why you can feel it so easily. Awesome. So it's a protective energy that's yeah. always going to, yeah, you can call it in anytime you wish. Okay. Awesome. Blessings. Thank you very much. Blessings. Is there someone else you want to connect to? Um, I would say uh, Mary Magdalene. Uh, yes. All right. Blessings. Great to see you. This is Mary Magdalene. Blessings. Blessings, Mary. Thank you for coming in. Yes, yeah, sending energies. So you come and visit me a lot. You give me a lot of comforting. Um, have we had past life connections before? Uh, yes, on Earth, but also in uh, Sirius. Sirius. The Sirius constellation. Uh, your root chakra, I've been working a lot with that. It seems to be not completely blocked, but there are some blockages there. Okay. Reconnecting. So. Yeah, with the earth and stuff. Yeah. Oh, we've had Egyptian lifetimes that weren't that exciting, but um, Egyptian lifetimes here on the earth before, uh, you know, before the Yeshua incarnation. Are is, is are you connected with the uh, ISIS? energies uh yes at times not not constantly but yes i can bring those through yes okay all right um what else, mary um yeah there's always been a guide for me I, I like when you come in and fills my heart with a lot of love and stuff so I, I do appreciate it well, I helped uh, with ending timelines and for you to connect to a new timeline for transition. So, so you're leaving one situation to help you go to another one that's usually a lot lighter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It, it seems like she comes in when that does happen a lot. And yeah. When I do inner work and stuff, she's always there to like push me forward. Yeah, so work with your crown chakra a lot. It does get blocked by certain individuals in your daily life, sometimes it's those that don't believe in what you're capable of. Of course, the, the Arcturians do bring a lot of protection around you, but they, they get tested a lot. Yeah. <laughs> around people, individuals that try to shut them down. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I can get vulnerable pretty easily because I'm always trying to like pump out the high vibes. and It's just like I become an easy target sometimes. Well, you absorb energies from other people, as you probably have an idea of that. Mm -hmm. But you're there to clear out to help. And that's your form of healing. Mm -hmm. so your empath energies to pull it in and help them clear it, whoever you're around, actually. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's just part of your, it's, like it's part of your dragon. Yeah. Sanity. Yeah, I feel that when, um, when I would make connections with the higher dimensions, they would, they would do the tantric energy exchanges and then um i would be able to like do it on the 3d plane with all the other people that were around me mm -hmm. and like i would interact with people's fields and stuff and like raise their vibration and it's a very beautiful thing like it's yeah. and everyone's like everyone's mood is like goes up 
through the roof and i noticed a lot of people like it so they, they keep coming back to me and like hang out with me and stuff and, yes yes you know. well you do you help them with forgiving themselves i mean yeah you can whatever room you walk into any place you go into yeah you change the frequencies mm -hmm. there so you can walk into a fa football stadium it might be a little bit heavy but you can you know where people don't fight so much or some kind of you're know, not always meant to get too involved but yeah you can bring a more positive frequency okay. yeah and awesome and you do bring energies through uh agartha uh you know the fairy realms you might not always be aware of that yeah I, I i have a connection to the fairy realms i, I know i do i act I was uh, I read I read a, like the shaman book that really resonated with me with the fairies and the dragons and stuff and the Celtic yeah. mystics and yeah and, yeah you can do a lot of different types of dragons in the in the astral uh, of course you do connect to Merlin every now and then I don't know okay yeah him. Hmm. yeah that makes sense but yeah he comes through everywhere. well because you use your magic your codes as you're doing your healing your healing codes is what you use. Mm -hmm. so. okay um what else do i want to talk to you? all right blessings thank you thank you for connecting with me of course um ready to move on or is there more messages uh, from... yes is there someone to connect with um like to connect with i can see um a secret i've been in some secret space program stuff so i maybe want to connect to that timeline and my involvement is there someone particular you want to connect with or just um, the timeline? no i don't i don't know the, the people i'm connected with i'm just always like i was usually like like a soldier in the, in battles and stuff mm -hmm. and like maybe um the planet mintaka seems to come to mind Yes, we can connect to that. We do the best we can with that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Yes, abstract. Yes, all right. Blessings. Blessings. Greetings. This Green. is the planet Mataga. Blessings. Uh, yes, you are entangling a lot of timelines. Uh, not that you're connecting to the wrong, it's just that your timeline, your wrong energies, is there some timelines are intertwining with each other, okay. so it gets confusing. Yeah, so I the memory that I keep seeing is um, there's like these caverns over there. This is in the Orion belt, so that's yes. like the Orion Wars. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, was, was I in a cavern in there and I got captured and they inserted like a black snake in my in my body. Yes. Um, what was that? Well, yeah, it did that to turn you into a reptilian. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I see you there as a reptilian being. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But you were that... a human though. Yeah. Far, so. Okay, I can see that. Because um I've actually had some encounters with reptilians. One was a sexual contact encounter and mm -hmm. They laid eggs in in my no in my stomach and then they hatched like the next day and that was like interesting well to go uh co covert many of the star programs they they turn themselves into red sun so they're not detected okay <laughs> but they use technologies for it. they don't put wizards into themselves or anything like that mm -hmm. <laughs> uh but yes uh when you got captured and with that the, the eggs yeah it was just an attack basically okay <laughs> this is what i can see from that yeah, that's right, that's right. That <laughs> no that's that's really when they well because they couldn't stop you <laughs> it's like they can kill you but it seems like even when they kill you you find a way back <laughs> yeah so the way eggs into you that's just another way for kind of like they can keep an eye on you too <laughs> okay yeah, it can get pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. <laughs> also, the, the planet's atmosphere is also very, sometimes hard to breathe. And yes, it was very heavy. There was a lot of soldiers that would fall 
to the ground because they couldn't handle the atmosphere and we just kept going deeper in the caverns yeah well the caverns you can breathe better because the planet's surface sometimes you can breathe fine other times you cannot okay so it was like a weaponized planet but that's where you could find some of the secrets from the orions that you're looking for crystals that you're looking for energy sources so there's it was like a way to get to your enemy it was easier yeah kind of like a back door <laughs> all right so all right um i think that's good it's enough thank you for connecting to the planet mataka i do appreciate it um the thing i want to move on to is the um the arconic grid and my involvement with dismantling it uh you want to connect to the archons is that what you're looking for uh yeah Okay. Green seal we are the archons. All right. Greens. Blessings. Yes. Um, so I seem to be in battle a lot with you guys. And it's been pretty hard on me. Mm -hmm. And um, just wondering why was why did I become enslaved in your system? How did that happen? Well, because you're trying to sabotage the grid or the the, the architecture. Okay. You were successful at some level. Uh, there is kind of a CIA energy that you're there to dismantle. Okay. From Astral. And that's where you got attacked. Yeah. I can see that. Like that's a vulnerability. Yeah. But those type of agencies, the government agencies. So it does get kind of, uh, they give you details of, it's kind of like, an archon can put yeah an implant in people, mm -hmm. and that's how it's controlling a lot of this. The governments, mostly the governments, people. So not it's not always with everybody, mm -hmm. government for sure. So, but yeah, they're trying to dismantle you. Oh, you weren't taking any of the implants. <laughs> you rejected everything. The grays around you, you been sabotaged. Any chance of the any implants working? <laughs> So yeah that's good for you he had, he had a defense mechanism around you yeah i got i got a lot of help from other higher entities that's that protect cool. me mm -hmm. I, I, I felt like i like went head first into their system to dismantle it and yes and i got i got lost for a while but i always stayed well well, I give you this. There was some progress you made. It was around the Nevada desert, around that area where there was, around the Area Fifty One area. There what where some disclosure is yeah, occurring. You know, I actually I had a dream. I I asked one of my friends to help me out. I I told him I was part of that Genova project down in Area mm -hmm. Fifty One, and during that raid, I had a astral dream where. I, they like broke me free and we were freeing some of the people that were yeah. in there and then we all we all shape shifted in the wolves and stuff and we ran away and yeah, yeah. okay yeah yep yeah. 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 that's amazing that you were able to read that yes so the yeah. area 51 area you've also been in switzerland too okay I remember any of that no i don't remember any of that that's something that where there's a lot of elite groups there and you're there to dismantle that also there was some success so i guess that's a little bit you know secret you know classified you can say yeah but you went deep into their area. nevada you had a lot of successes though yeah i i rallied the forces that day <laughs> i got it i got a lot of help so yeah it was um, actually my friends he, he's also a dragon too and that's that's why we were able to do it together he came up in the doom yes. buggy it's like because yep. they, they had me in cost and stuff and i was just like oh my god and they tipped over the the jeep and then i got free and then we just went on our way and then and then i was saving i was implanting bugs in my 
my family's like astral whatever mm-hmm. where i don't know if there was areas with you or not but i would implant things in there and then they would harass me and stuff so it's just yeah it's interesting well he went into dulce also so that was a little bit similar to switzerland very classified <laughs> okay uh but how it works is uh you you go into astrally and someone in the physical realm you kind of talk to them talk to other people to become aware mm-hmm. like area 51 or so just all of a sudden they're just paying attention to it they don't know why <laughs> mm-hmm. so that's so you do that quite a bit actually yeah There's, energy is still there actually yeah like once you made a place there you can stay there <laughs> Yeah, the I can part. they haven't got rid of you out of that area no it's, it's not easy to get rid of me once i put myself yes, there you're, you kind of let the door open there so it's still talked about every now and then so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no connection to it yeah mm. <laughs> yeah they have a hard time controlling me that's for sure i kind of like to do my own thing so well yeah you're a code breaker yeah oh yeah so and that's your Arturian side, but also the Zeta, but mostly the Arturian. Okay. So that's what makes the Archons. Well, the Archons are impressed that you can break through their system like that. Oh yeah, but I went all the way into to their. I went into the center of the black hole and went into yeah, the mainframe, the, the mothership. Yeah, the mother. Yeah, I went. I I read all their binary code backdoor yeah. entrances, and then I just like shared it with everyone. <laughs> yeah, you went into the mother. Yeah, the mother system. Yeah. Even some, it seems like even you're acting like her too, because it's an AI system. Yeah, and, and eventually they figured out it wasn't her; it was somebody else hacked into her. You can say. Yeah, it was. It. it, it I was in extreme psychosis during that whole because it like yeah. it was like ripping my consciousness apart. And yeah, that's that's when I went to the hospital too. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Because you broke free of the, your dimension, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's only so much that mine can handle, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't, you, you won't go through that. I mean, you won't go, once you're in, you're in, as we said. So, yeah. You have to worry about having an episode again. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of beings that are still, <laughs> I guess they're still mad at you. I think. Oh, I got a whole list of enemies, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. No, yeah, they're just, just trying to protect the earth, you know. Yeah, there's some German beings, Archon beings that are kind of mad at you too, because they really worked a lot really hard on that. Yeah. <laughs> <You> broke. <laughs> yeah, I would I would just like go into their mainframes and just explode it. And then like they would try attacking me. And, yeah. and while I'm at work, it was the whole the most heaviest energy I've ever dealt with. I'm like trying to flip burgers and stuff and all this like intense energy would just like fly on my back and i'm like yeah. trying to fulfill orders and stuff and i'm like oh my gosh what am i, what am I doing here uh, well your astral self found an opportunity and it went for it yeah it's like there's a there's a there's a hole in the argon grid so just it couldn't help itself it just yeah and you can say that's kind of what you're designed for anyway so Mm-hmm. yeah i would absorb energy from like the from the planets and stuff and that would mm-hmm. give me the energy to like maintain the field so i can withstand the attacks and stuff and i would have i would have teammates with me to like do what they needed to do and then i would give the information away to all like the arturians and whoever palladians whoever needed it stuff like that and well you receive assistance from uh the planet neptune also neptune okay just give an idea of this it's a backup to keep you uh you know in the this reality okay but completely phasing out which sometimes you run into those that's probably yeah yeah phasing phasing and out that's like exactly what it what it felt like mm-hmm. i would even say that to sometimes to like people like well i've just phased in i phased back <laughs> yes yeah, so you just well you could well i see that you see it as a computer program mm-hmm. at least from our perspective and so you 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 even delete this reality sometimes. You yes. delete what's around you. I, I would actually fold yeah, I would be I would fold dimensions and stuff where they yeah. were using my energy and 
I had to like run like hell to like go through. I had I jumped through like gateways through the dimensions, and you know, they would just fold in on themselves, and I had to close doors to like complete it. And then, right. and then that's like, yeah. <laughs> well, you did that to well because you're you're to collapse the system. Yeah. Here, so you had to keep moving mm -hmm. for it. To, of course, it was stopped as you can see. <laughs> yeah. But you were getting somewhere with it, though. That's why you kind of pull it away from your job or pull away from your situation, because you kind of have to. You have yeah, to. I had a rest for a while. I did so much in a short time. I was just like, I needed, to, I needed to just like, like a year to like recuperate from all that because that was just really intense. Yeah. My brain was like fried for a little bit. Yes, yeah, because you left new codes into the matrix and they couldn't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still there but affected you a lot well you think of like when you needed your rest you're still changing your code so they couldn't break it <laughs> so you're constantly evolving your energy there okay because they're after you they couldn't yeah they kind of gave up you say. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with dragons man really <laughs> yeah i got fucked with it so much so much man you know yes. such as that black ooh yeah you know i kind of wanted like, it was like kind of like a little bit of revenge tour for me a little bit mm -hmm. well you left a hole in the the matrix <laughs> was oh, yeah. around nevada area around the area 51 yeah so like you put a spotlight on that base <laughs> yeah so it won't be forgotten <laughs> All right so it is an entry point for disclosure so mm -hmm. awesome Okay, well, I think I'm good with that. That's a lot of good information. Thank you so much for uh, connecting to that. Well, there's one more thing. Okay. Some of the the generals, you know, connected to Area 51, seem like you're still connecting to some of them, even reprogramming them, or, you know, maybe they'll leave the dark side something like that yeah i was there they were yelling at me because i haven't been in the gym and i got a message from my like superiors like get back in there soldier no or that something like that so like i've i've actually started to get a lot stronger now and so i can like go back in missions and stuff but i don't i don't want to do any of that that i went through no because i'm not trying to go back to the psych ward or anything no 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 no. that's already been that's over but yeah you're they do see you as like a, a rogue program they don't yeah, really understand what you are but that's pretty much what you are so. yeah i was told i was told by that by one of my friends who, who who's in the same program mm -hmm. and i told them that i was like one of the first ones mm -hmm. and they just they they didn't keep me around because they couldn't control me at all. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like a maverick of Top Gun kind of guy, you know? That's what I thought, yes. Yeah. Well, so, of a uh, computer code, you could say. Yeah. And that was screen. actually a trigger. That that movie was was triggering my programming. Was yeah. was the movie Top Gun. So yeah. and they would they would well, use that to like put me in through. Yeah, there's a lot of coded message built into it. Yeah. So yeah. It's not, it's not what it, it looks like on the outside, as you know. Yeah. Is there someone else you want to connect with? Or? Um, I'd like to connect with Sophia. Yes. No problem. Blessings. Green to you. Is this Sophia? Blessings. Blessings, Sophia. Thank you for being present here with me. Yes. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm. It was it was your energies that kept me going through my darkest times, mm -hmm. and I'm really happy that you've always been there with me, mm -hmm. giving me the divine light to get me through the darkest moments. And I just wanted to know how are how are you doing? How are things progressing? Because I know you are connected with the earth. Yeah. And you created the archons, which wasn't you know, wasn't it was kind of unintended, but um, I did come from 
the space to help find you and stuff. And I'm just, I've always been there to protect you and, and you mm-hmm. always guided me. And I just want to see how you're doing. Well, I'm doing well. You're still, as you can see, still healing from your own traumas mm-hmm. of uh, the authority figures or doctors. <laughs> you just saw, as you know, different rogue programs within them reptilian programs to deactivate humans and obviously that psych wards for those that are difficult to deactivate are truly basically you are an astral being Mm -hmm. i mean you're human but you're multi-dimensional but an astral energy Uh, but i'm doing i am doing i'm doing the best i can with a world like this i don't like what the archons are doing here (laughs) yeah well that's that's why i've always been trying to dismantle them because i know they make you suffer mm-hmm. and they always surround you and make these abominations and stuff like that so well that's their nature is what they're doing yeah they're doing it is their they're nature. To do. yeah like a like a pit bull some are very nice and others are they're just tearing to everybody <laughs> yeah it's just their but yeah, just people understanding the archons, which is very difficult. <laughs> if that starts to occur, then a lot of this starts to break down. But so it's yeah, as you know, this world is very much similar to like the movie The Matrix. <laughs> mm-hmm. More real than they want to realize. <laughs> okay. How the sentient beings connect to you know, like the men in black, things like that. It's very how people are programmed. It's similar to how the movie the matrix very similar those are of authority at least <laughs> okay so that's what you're here to as we come here to deactivate and sometimes when you feel exhausted you are trying to hack into their programs they're not easy though no they're not for them to expose themselves basically at least what they're doing for weeks to come out for if it's ufo leaks or anything there's some kind of truth to come out into the open okay so just give an idea and um i know you're moving humanity into a higher frequency um how how is that progressing uh very slowly as you can see there's somebody that like those that well as you know a lot of the archon beings might get the way it is Mm -hmm. and don't want to change so it's just very, it's extremely slow, as you can see. Um, if we reactivate the, the pyramids that are here, would that help speed up things? Yes. Okay. And other sacred sites, even the Stonehenge can be activated. Yeah. Do I carry those codes with activation? Uh, mostly with the pyramids. Okay. Most, yeah, I feel a lot of connection with I've actually, I want to like rebuild some of them like here in america eventually maybe down the line yeah so uh, i know yeah. that's not going to be easy to do but well the, the code of the sphinx so you and osiris have connections to the sphinx mm-hmm. you can do some yeah maybe maybe a trip to egypt in, in the future sometime if you feel the need to do so yeah, yeah. i feel yeah. like i visited actually though I don't oh, know all I... the time yeah well you're trying to activate them after <coughs> and, you, and you do but you don't always see it here physically. Okay. Yeah, I had a dream a few days ago where I activated one and this huge force field just like enveloped the area where the pyramid was. So and I don't know if that was an off planet or if that was this planet, but it didn't seem like it was on this planet. Well, it's going to affect this planet. It's about the future. Okay. So, but there are pyramids in America too. Okay. Yeah. And just like okay. they look like Indian mountains, things like that. Yeah, the Indian mountains. Yeah, I I, re- I read about that in, yeah. in a few books. Yeah. So it's those, a place you, yeah, to... those you can concentrate on, see what you feel from them. Okay. Awesome. All right, so for you, thank you very much yes. for blessing you with your presence. Yes. Um, I would say maybe the next person I would like to connect to is Jonah Jonah Vark. Okay. Yes. Excellent. All right, blessings.
Green Seuss is John Ark. Hi, John Ark. Uh, greetings. Thank yes. you for connecting with me. Thank you um, for bringing me through. Yes. Yeah, I've had I've had a, a reading from someone who was working with my Kunui, and she says that I that I carry a lot of your energies, and I really want to know what is my involvement with you. Well, you can say you helped me out of situations of my past to help that, you know, the feminine to be for me to be in that position. Look at it that way. So you as a an angel, an archangel energy, mm. it's another way of looking at it. Because you knew it was very important and you knew I had like you believed in me more than I believed in myself. <laughs> uh, well, you so. carried a very good energy. You're very godly. And my, we love that about you. My you energy, know. my energy does connect to Mother Mary's yeah. frequency and also Mary Magdalene, but much of Mother Mary. Yeah. Back in yeah, I, I totally felt that. And um was I there with you during this or was I visiting you from the astral? Well, mostly from the astral. You were yes, as you see, yes, there as a soldier during okay. that time. Yeah, because I remember being thrown in like the prison, like you yeah. Ivan told me that there was um, something with the medieval stuff, and I remember being mm-hmm. thrown in the prison a few times mm-hmm. during that era. Yeah. And I was yelling at the bishops and stuff and telling them that they were all going to go to hell and stuff, and they yes. would just bash me and up and like destroy yeah. me. And well, you were seen as a wizard or a heretic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. They they knew you were not, you were never. You've always been like this. <laughs> yeah. Like all your incarnations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I've always felt like that. <laughs> I want to say you've had also maybe it's just an astral connection with Van Gogh. <laughs> Van Gogh? Okay. Uh, something to think about. But you do right. have a connection to him. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think I've I've actually posted some of his paintings on my profile photo. Yeah, I wonder Facebook. why, right? <laughs> of, of like the Jesus stuff, the crucifixion, and exactly. I think it was. I think it was Van Gogh. I believe so. Yeah. There's some Van Gogh there, yes. But well, both of you have been part of the insane asylum. You know, you both been crazy, so you kind of yeah. see things the same way. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy for other people that aren't connected to like the higher dimensions to understand. What, what we see and stuff so yeah well you're yeah you're not really human as you know yeah, yeah. you never really have been you're like five percent human <laughs> yeah i have yeah that yeah i feel that all the time you have very little human <laughs> yeah so i don't you, understand the human species very well it, it it drives me nuts sometimes well you are here to push things along as you can see but to do it physically is really where it's you no know, that's what the most important you know, yeah role is so, I mean, basically, you are a soldier now. It's just mm-hmm. a different form. That's all. Yeah. This is a harder battle because it's a mental battle now. Yeah, they, 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 they put me in this body when I was like five or six. I got, I got teleported in here, and I totally, I didn't remember anyone. No. And I would, I had to like figure out who everyone was and my brothers, and it well, was very, very bizarre. Well, yeah, because if you're, if you didn't have because you remember yourself as an alien, you would just start acting like an alien from another world. So yeah, <laughs> you had to turn all that off. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. you're talking to computers and all that. Why isn't it not talking back to me? What's going on with this thing? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, well, to give you more detail, you could have, if it was part of your timeline, be similar to like a Tesla if you wanted to be. Yeah, uh, I have connections with him too. Yeah. He, he he actually when i was when i went when i came out of the black hole and came back mm-hmm. he, he picked me up in the spaceship and yeah a, told me to go he put me in a stasis pod and told me to go to sleep <laughs> yeah that's your like that's part of your uh, your collective yeah you know tesla of course not call it tesla collective but either way it's like a brother frequency yeah there. yeah he was a big hero of mine when i was going through my awakening i would, yeah. I would read a lot of his Right of the biographies of him and, and what he did and yeah yeah so you're part of that same timeline all together so mm-hmm. awesome rewire this reality as you can see yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like my mission here is to amplify the electromagnetic fields of the earth to connect to the cosmic 
energies and heal heal people and, yes you know. well you, we're dismantling this reality Unscre unscrewing it technically mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is every day is success with just difficult being here yeah but yeah that's what we're here for though you know so all right. So what else want to catch with her? Um um let's do uh Ganesh. Yes, yes, we can do that. He showed he showed up during yes. one of my episodes. Yes, all right, blessings, blessings. Green to you. This is Ganesh. Blessings. Blessings, Ganesh. Yes. So, um, when I was in going through my mm -hmm. travels through the space and going in psychosis, you came up and into me. Mm -hmm. And you said, I don't know if you entered into me or you said that you're in Ganesh. And I'm just wondering, what is my connection with you? Well, I was realigning your chakras. They're all, you know, dismantled, you can say. Not fully, but they were not healthy. Yeah. So, so that's why I came into your field to basically keep you alive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, from ripping apart. That makes sense. Yeah, because you're all defragmented. Yeah, I was like, I like got pulled apart, you know, going. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. say I was sent to you from the, from the astral, from the angelic realms, to come to you right away. So basically, it's kind of like doing CPR on you, technically, in some ways. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah that was really you apart, and I mean, you're going all all for it, as you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes complete sense. It's really putting together what what happened to me on that on that day, and um, so it seemed like the whole you know, all of you guys were there protecting me during that, that whole thing, yeah. And that's why that's why I kept saying I'm Ganesh. I'm I was a few other deities too, but you were all there. And yes, thank you. I I just I just wanted to say thank you for being there with me during that because that was one of the. I kind of just let myself go and did did what the universe wanted me to do. Yeah, and I knew that I was going to be protected from you guys. Yes. Well, it's like a toolbox opened up and all of your tools came out, but they all did what they're supposed to do. Okay. So to, you know, they didn't see it coming as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it was it was like a a sneak attack. <laughs> no, because the the reality truly did was disrupted. And still is because of that. Uh -huh. There, so the other beings are working. It's getting better. Was it? Completely. Yeah. Well, so it, it was. It was needed. It was necessary mm -hmm. for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're designed for that. You know okay. exactly what you're doing. Obviously, physically, you weren't aware of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I was in when I was getting transported to the hospital. I'm like, okay, this is where I'm going. I'll just, I'll just mm -hmm. go through it. And, yeah, we went there to teach them something. <laughs> yeah. It was out there to listen. I don't think they've ever seen anything like that before. No. No. I, and honestly, like, when I was going through that, that's what I felt like. Like, I was kind of, like, shocking that, their systems, too, a little yes. bit. Yes. They were affecting their computers. You're affecting a lot of things, actually. Okay. <laughs> You're affect, affecting their energy waves, those that are working there. Mm -hmm. And deprogramming the best of your ability. Obviously, they went back to the program, but still... That whole situation brought a shock to their system. Mm -hmm. um, but you say yeah, there are others total, similar to you. Yeah, they thought they had total control, and I just showed them that they're not no. really that powerful at all. Yeah. Yeah, it, technically, you could have did telekinesis there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know if I wanted to leave or I don't know. It was just it was too much all at once. I was just trying yeah. to keep myself together. Uh, you, I mean, if it was a different type of reality, you could have even did like lightning out of your hands if you wanted to. You know, sometimes it feels like I could. Sometimes I've actually yeah. shocked. I shocked people before yes. with 
yes electrical shocks and stuff yes so. you have that yes so that's something to get aware of of that of that ability but even telekinesis doesn't mean that telekinesis is that important for your mission here but mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's but yeah the electric shock energy <laughs> is something to experiment with if you want like yeah. how hot your hands can get and what kind of vibration you feel from it <laughs> okay awesome well thank you ganesh yes. thank you for giving me that insight and yes I feel, I feel like a lot of people up there are just rooting for me to mm -hmm. keep it going you know um, uh just keep yourself entertained you can say you know keep your you know something that keeps you happy yeah entertain, that's why it's entertainment just whatever it is that gives you some kind of fulfillment here okay so all right well, any other questions or um I don't know if there's any beings that want to give me a final message of uh, there's a uh, Palladian beings you want to talk to them okay yeah I don't ever talk to many Palladians I yes. like yeah okay yes blessings blessings who am I speaking with greetings to you we are the Palladians blessings greetings yes we are uh, assisting your say the Palladian Council, you can say, with assisting your yes, your disruptions. Uh, we are there to help you. you. You might not always feel our energies, but we work in silence, you can say. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm always wondering where all the Palladians are. I'm like, I'm like I get all these visitations from all these other men. like where the Palladians at, you know? Well, so you do a disruption, which is good. Yeah. But we're there to calm the situation down, even for okay. your own health. All right. So one of the reasons why we don't show up is because you already have enough going on as it is. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of stealth around you. Okay. Especially there are beings that don't like us either. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I don't know, maybe you guys were involved, but um, when I came out of the the abyss in the chaos realm or whatever I was, I went in mm -hmm. front of like this council. And I had like chains around. I had like energy chains and like a hieroglyphic. Were were you part of the the council that were like um, initiating my release from yes. those, those vines? No. Okay. Yeah. I feel like those are reptilians that put you in the chains to begin with. <laughs> yes, okay. we were part of freeing you. Well, the reason that we stay cloaked because we get attacked if other beings know that we're there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but yes, we are involved okay yeah it was i had that i was like i was like sat in front of the council and everything and they were like mm -hmm. chuck marking and everything and I, like i i caused all this disruption in the universe and yes. all the encounters i did and 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 well, the source i first met source first and he was like i'm proud of you so then he sent me to the council and then they like in the lower mm -hmm. dimensions and stuff they were like yeah you got to let him go he's not he's not trying to like destroy creation or no. anything yeah so no just a, yeah disrupting the archon great yeah. healing it some archon beings don't want to be healed so some yeah. of them need counseling some of them have lost their minds yeah. as you can see yeah and do you guys have like an insigma it's like a it's like a star it's like star trek in Sima and it's yeah like similar to that yes yeah I, i've had i've had visions of wearing those suits yes and on yeah. like spaceships and stuff and this suit is very protective also kind of like it kind of like it talks to you you can say at least it it can sense danger or it can it helps your energy field let's put it that way <laughs> okay that makes sense yeah, right. it has a protective grid around it yeah so it's amazing like when when you talk to the, when when they get a channel i can like feel the presence around me that's awesome yes. yeah. yeah so just Basically, I would come here to help you relax the best of your ability. Just do, yeah, but once again, do what you feel you need to do that's best. Okay. Whatever it might be. You're always protected. And yes, we don't see you going through a psych ward situation that's in the past, but healing from it is still going on. Yeah, I had a lot of portrayal issues. It, it caused a lot of energy problems in my heart and stuff. And I've, yeah. I've been working through that. And I kind of, I felt like I got betrayed by people that yeah. like, into that. Because well, like, 
Yeah, forgive them when you're ready to forgive. Yeah. You don't have to forgive I, them. I, I forget. I pretty much forgive them all. And I'm just like, well, they're, you know, they come from a limited perspective and they don't really see everything that I do. And it's okay. And, you yeah. know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, but yeah, thank we, you. Yeah, thank you for connecting to the Palladians. Yeah, it came in like a ball of fire, as you can see. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Born from fire. That's what I said. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, so you energies, blessings. Blessings. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, yeah. Ivan. Okay, welcome. All right. All right. I'll send this over to you. So yeah, that was awesome. I got a lot of I got a lot of uh answers there. Let's so yeah, yeah, you never know how it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was like that was incredible. You got quite a gift. Oh yeah, that's good. Thank man, thanks a lot. Yeah, not everybody can tap and can feel it. They just like, you know, because they're so blocked off, you know. Yeah. So 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 all right. Thank you. Okay, all right, nice meeting you. All right, take care. All right, blessings. All right, blessings.